Look at your neighbor, tell him I'm going home free tonight. Watch the text. And the Bible says, Paul turns around and he, he rebukes the girl. He, he tells the girl, shut your mouth. He says, and go back from whence you come. Not understanding that the girl was under the unction of a pimpish type of power. These men were trying to use her so that she could set Paul and Silas and his crew up for destruction. Ah, but the Bible says when Paul rebukes her and when he frees her because he don't just rebuke her but he frees her from that governmental demonic pimpish power that was overtaking her. Paul breaks out Timothy's son. Paul breaks out Lydia and her house. Paul breaks out this woman of God who was stuck in witchcraft. And now Paul is in a place that because of what he did, it had now put him in chains. Uh, sometimes what God has called you to do is so powerful that he ended up putting you in chains. Here you are trying to free others, but your very assignment causes you to be hated by others and put you in your own bondage. And here, here he was. And now Paul has the assignment of now a man standing in the place of rescue again because now he is in chains and in prison and I know I know I know most times this is the part where I shout you and talk about and at midnight but I don't want to go there tonight I don't want to go there we didn't been there we didn't shout it at midnight that ain't where I want to go I want to deal with how Paul finds himself in this place he's chained the Bible says that his hands are chained that his feet are chained him and Silas are chained because of the enemies in their life but Paul understood that my assignment in this prison is not about me but my assignment in this prison is so that God could use me to free somebody else oh god i need y'all to help me preach because what i see here now is not just a sudden break out but what i see now is also a sudden breakthrough <laughs> and the breakthrough is when god uses you not just to get free but god uses your bondage so somebody else can get free too oh bless his name here I look at your neighbor and encourage them and say neighbor I know you are going through some stuff and tell them neighbor I know that the enemy is running rampant in your life but let them know say neighbor could it be that what you're going through ain't even about you y'all ain't talking could it be that the pain you are feeling ain't even about you could it be that the hell in your life ain't got nothing to do with you but the reason God put you in it is because he knows you got enough anointing on you that if you come out of it you ain't going to come out by yourself but when you come out of this you going to bring everybody out y'all don't want to have to Lord help me preach and look down your row don't just look at your neighbor but look down your row and say row I got an assignment tonight and my assignment is to be sure I don't come out of this by myself but tell them when I come out of this I'm bringing everybody out of this with me if you know I'm right about it you're going to put it on your own and say when I come out you come out when I come out your children come out when I come out my children come out everything that's connected to me is coming out of this when I come out of this if you know that you're coming out and everybody connected is coming out with you open your mouth Hold your behind. 
Look at your neighbor and say, hey, neighbor, I'm bringing you out with me. Tell them, I don't care what you might be going through. But tell them, I got good news for you tonight. Tell them, the Lord has anointed me to free those who might be going through the pain in their life. And the Bible says that while Paul and Silas were in that prison, Paul didn't get confused, but he stood there with his hands chained. He stood there with his feet chained. And Paul Hallelujah to God. And while he was there, he didn't lose his focus. But he started praising and praying to God. I don't know tonight who I'm preaching to. But sometimes when you're going through your struggle, you can't lose your focus. You better find you a place in your heart and start praying and praising God. I don't know when you're going to pull me out of this, but I refuse to close my mouth. You could bind my hands. You could bind my feet. But can I tell you what you did wrong? You left my mouth free. Please look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. And tell your neighbor, oh neighbor, whatever you're doing this season, they can burn your hands. They can burn your feet. But tell them, don't close your mouth. Whatever you do, open your mouth and praise him through it. Whatever you do, open your mouth and shout on through it. Whatever, whatever you do, open your mouth and give him glory through it. Y'all don't want to have no church. And the Bible says, while he was praising through it, the chains fell off. An earthquake began to happen. And the Bible says that Paul and Silas and the prisoners, they walked out the prison free and clear. Now I got a close here. But what got me about the text is if I was Paul, I would have ran for safety. But that ain't what Paul did. He didn't run for safety. The prisoners were sitting there. But it ain't the prisoners I'm concerned about. It's the prison guards. The same men that bound him were the same men that Paul said I'm not leaving without them do you hear me tonight the Bible says that the prison guards they got up and the main guard was going to kill himself but Paul said do yourself no harm for we are we are all here. In other words, it's your fault that I'm in these chains. But it's going to be God's fault that I bring you out of this bondage. I just came for you to do me a favor tonight and look at the person next to you and say, neighbor, you might not like me. You might be dogging me out. Say, oh, neighbor, you might be running my 
my name through the mud. But do me a favor tonight and grab that neighbor. Grab that neighbor. Grab that neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, I'm grabbing your hand. Because when God anoints me, he doesn't just anoint me for the people I like. But when God anoints me, he even anoints me for the people that don't like me. Y'all don't want to have no church. But I come back to tell you, you ain't really anointed until you can see your enemies be made free of their storm. You ain't really anointed until you can see your enemies come out of their chains. You ain't really, you ain't really anointed until you can see the folk that don't like you be delivered as well. And I come back to tell you tonight, if you're willing to bring a breakthrough to those who are with you and to those who are not, I need you to connect with your role again and tell them, come on, roll. And I need you to work with them. And I need you to shake with them. And I need you to say, hey, roll. I'm rocking and shaking with you because God, He's getting ready to pull you out of depression. God, He's getting ready to pull you out of low self esteem. God, He's getting ready to pull you the low place and can I tell you tonight how God's gonna do it he gonna do it quick fast immediately suddenly and straight away yes look at somebody and say neighbor the God you serve is gonna bring deliverance he gonna do it quick. He gonna do it fast. He gonna do it immediately. He gonna do it straight away. And he gonna do it suddenly. If you know I'm right about it, you wanna find about five people and tell them get ready, neighbor, for the Lord to do it quick. Get ready, neighbor, cause he gonna dry up cancer. But he gon' do it quick. Get ready, neighbor. He gon' move in your church. And he gon' do it quick. Get ready, neighbor. He gon' touch your spouse. And he gon' do it quick. It may seem like a struggle. You may seem like you're low. You may feel like quitting. But I come back to tell you to just hold on. Just a little out loud because God, He's getting ready to move on your behalf. He's going to move so slow that you don't testify. Eyes have not seen and ears haven't heard what God, He's getting ready. He's getting ready. He's getting ready to do in your life. If you know we gon' do it, wave your hand tonight and shout like it's already done. Wave your hand tonight and scream like you already got it. Wave your hand and praise him like the God you serve. He's getting ready to come through and when he come through he gonna give you just what you need I don't know the name who I'm preaching to but I come back to tell you he gonna give you just what you need he gonna give you just 
So what you need? He's gonna give you. 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 Just what you need. And can I tell you how he gonna give it to you? He gonna give it quick, fast, immediately, straight away, suddenly. Yes, find somebody and give him hand five and say, hey neighbor, he gonna do it quick. Hey neighbor, he gonna bring you through quick. I gotta close. I gotta close. I gotta close. But I can't close tonight. So you get out your seat and say, excuse me. I know it's packed tonight, but I'm walking in another level. I'm walking in another glory. I'm walking in another power. I'm walking to another level. That old devil, he's a lying wonder. And I come back to tell him what he tried. It just ain't gonna work. Cause the hand of God is on my life. And I come to prophesy that says you've been waiting for a long time. About ready to quit. About ready to throw in the towel. But I come back to tell you tonight that you can't quit. Because even if the Lord seems like he's silent, I come to tell you that he's still working. He might be silent, but he's still working. You probably can't feel it, but he's still working. You don't know where he's at, but he's still working. Can I tell you what your testimony ought to be in this season? I might be suffering, but I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed. After you suffer a while, he'll strengthen you, he'll establish you, he'll make you perfect. Do you feel like counting tonight? Can we go ahead and count? Count it all joy when you fall in time of temptation, knowing this that the trying of your faith. The trying of your faith. That's the trying of your faith. Get out of your seat and go find five people. Tell them quick. Tell them fast. Tell them immediately. Tell them straight away. Tell them suddenly. Y'all ain't moving. I said, get out your seat. I said, get out your seat. I said, get out your seat. I go find somebody. Tell them quick. Tell them fast. Tell them immediately. Tell them straight away. Tell them suddenly. That's what God gonna do. That's what God gonna do. That's what God gonna do. If you know he gonna do it, I tell you praise him for the breakthrough. Praise him for the next level. Praise him for the turnaround. Get you a neighbor. 
want to make sure that you get the right person. Because if the Bible is right, and it is, when they praise, everybody in that prison got a breakthrough. When the anointed praise, when the anointed praise, everybody that was in that prison, you better praise it, mother. That praise is messing with me. That praise I want you to, who's going to praise and play your role? Where y'all at? I'm looking in the balcony. I'm looking over here. Who's going to praise him for your role? Now listen, just because you got a praise captain don't mean you can't praise. Because I prophesy tonight that within the next three months, you're going to see God do something quick, fast, immediate, Straight way and sudden. But see, watch this. Break it, Christian. You can't praise them out of religion. You can't praise them because of the music. You got to praise them because you believe God. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Look at somebody next to you to say, neighbor, this praise ain't contingent on how I feel. This praise ain't contingent on that music. But tell them this praise is because I believe God. If you know. you 
to do something a little bit uncomfortable. I want you to go find the person you're closest to in this building. I know that's going to have to cause you to get out your seat. Hear me, church. Find the person you're closest to. Whoever's the closest person you are in this building. It may not be the closest person in your whole life, but it's the person you're closest to in this building. Go to them quick. If it's your wife, go get your wife. If it's your family, go get your family. Forgive me. I hate to make you uncomfortable. You're going to understand once you get there. You're going to understand once you get there. You're going to understand once you get there. If you just could touch a shoulder, touch a shoulder. Woo! I know you got to get in the balcony. You got to come down. Wherever you got to go, tell them, come here. Lord, I When you, get the, when you get with that neighbor, this is what I heard the Lord say. He said, tell them, say, hey. Say, you, you understand who we are. You know where we've been. You know everything that we got going on. Say, but I want to prophesy to y'all. And I want y'all to prophesy to me. And say, we're getting ready to praise God because the Lord is getting ready to do a hard thing for us. And say, if we can praise Him, we're going to watch God give us a miracle like we ain't never seen. If you believe it, don't be cute, but lose your mind.
Without the music, Christian, let the people open their mouth. suddenly I don't care the storm I don't care the trial I don't care the contention God said quick fast immediately straightway and suddenly your I have not seen Your ear have not heard. Neither has it entered into your heart. But God's getting ready to release. And now, let the weak say, I am sore. Let the poor. Lift your hands all over this place. The Lord for us and now and now. let the weak say, I am so. Let the poor. Because of what? I know the Lord for us. Sing it again and now and now. Let the weak say, I Sing y'all in the poor. Hey, because of what? I know the Lord. For us, give thanks. Oh, hallelujah. Give. That's why you lift your hands and worship Him all over this place. Give thanks. Hiya. Lift your hands as high as you want God to pull you. Give thanks. Find your part all over the room. Come on, and now, everybody, and now. the poor because of what I know for us come on and now oh. hey 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 let the poor and now and now let the poor Because of what I know for us, give thanks. Now lift your hands all over this place. Fill this room with worship. Come on, let me hear you. Open your mouth. Fill it with a strong worship. Fill it with a loud worship. Come on, worshipers, take the room. Come on. Yada da ma da mo. Yada ma da mo ho ye be he na. Come on, worship us, take the room. We worship you, God, Yadamas. We worship you, Jesus, Yadamandabo. You're holy, God, Yabush. You're mighty, God. Come on, worship us, come on. Hallelujah, Yadamas. You are our strength tonight. You are the lifter above our head. You are everything we need and more. We honor you, Jesus. We're going to worship you until the chains break. 
There's power in my worship. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, because some of y'all know it. Help me say, there's power in my worship. We worship you, Jesus. Yeah. There's power in my worship. Oh, there's power in my will. I gotta obey the Lord. If you're at this in this place and you feel broken. And you need a touch from God. Bum rush this altar. Come quick, come quick, come quick, come quick, come quick. Come. Oh, yeah. We worship. Look at the children coming. Look at the youth coming. Oh, oh, oh yes, it is. We. He said, Bishop Jacobs, I, 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 I got to oh. get what I need. Bum rush this altar. Get we close. Get you, the line is long. Get as close as you. Oh, there's power. There's power, there's power in my words. We, we worship you, Jesus. Oh, there's healing in my words. There's healing in my words. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. If you're not at the altar, stretch your hands to those who are. And I just want you to begin to, be, to pray for those at this altar right now. Let me hear it, church. Open your mouth. The sound of prayer. Healing in my words. Fill this room with the sound of prayer. God's getting ready to send breakthrough to those at this altar. God's getting ready to send healing to those at this altar. God's getting ready to send everything you need while you're at this altar. I don't know if we have altar workers, but if we do, I need you. But God's getting ready to send what we need right here. And we're touching and agreeing with what God's getting ready to do in your life. I just need y'all to stretch your right hand. And I need you to just begin to pray. I need you to just begin to pray. We're praying for the broken tonight. We're praying for those who are down, child. We're praying that you will touch right now in the name of Jesus. We pray right now that God you send deliverance. We pray now that God you send healing. We pray now that God you send breakthrough. Move right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, do it now. 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 Do it now, do it now. You're going home different. Hey, 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 I got you, 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 I got you. Strength is here right now. Here it is. Yadabo, Rebebe, Sandabo, Redamando. Strength is here. Strength is here. Strength is here. Strength is here, my God. I feel the anointing. He gonna do it fast too. Abba, so. Oh, Yababando, Yabande, Behe. If you will worship him, I need you to worship him. Hallelujah, I need you to worship him. We love you, God. We love you, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you. Oh, Master, even now, even now, even now, ho ho, even now, hey, even now, your bosha, even now, your bosha, even now, put your hand in the belly, mother, even now.
I stole you for whatever place. I stole you for whatever level. I stole you ever deeper. I hear the Lord say deeper, 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 deeper. I call you deeper. I call you deeper. I call you deeper. I call you deeper. Your motion. That he crowned you with wisdom. That he crowned you with understanding. That he crowned you with knowledge. Even now, the presence of the Lord is here. Yes. 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 Woo, lift your hands, woman of God, as high as you can lift them. Yes, lift them high. Your Baba, so the Lord of the we hear the man so. Because your breakthrough is here tonight. Your breakthrough is here tonight. Your breakthrough is here tonight. And as God breaks you through, He breaks everybody around you through. Because of your breakthrough. Because of your breakthrough. Because of your breakthrough. Hallelujah. We trust you, God, Yabamos. We trust you, God, Yabamos. We glorify you, Yabamando. We honor you, Jesus, Yabamos. Hey, the power of God, the power of God, the power of God, the power of God. Hey, 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 ho, 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 Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Father. We love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the more. 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 Touch now. Touch now. Afresh. 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 